morning, my loves. All right, so it's another Wednesday. We're back. Um, and so this week has just been, hey, buddy, while he's down here checking on me. Um, so I'm still concentrating on getting that third mill in. It's going to take a while just to make it, you know, like have it without having to think about it. So it's still something that I am focusing on doing is just getting that, that third mill in. Um, towards the middle, sorry, towards, towards the middle of the day when it's just like you're super busy, you just don't want to stop and eat, and that's what I'm focusing on doing. Um, still continuing, continuing doing that. Um, so you guys, like the biggest thing this week, this past week, is just not so much about the diet and exercise, but just about life being so crazy busy for me right now. Um, I'm in, I'm up at four in the morning, running, going to work. Um, working a little bit on my off days while still like trying to um, like do laundry, do stuff around the house, spend time with my family. Like, it's everything's just been so wild lately, and it's I'm just gonna kind of like pour it all out there to you guys. Um, the the biggest thing in this weight loss thing is really just is all in the mindset and having your your goals and things that you're striving for every day. And with everything being so busy for me right now, um, kind of just feel like I'm being like pulled in a million different directions. Everything's just just crazy. And the most important thing for me right now is just to keep rolling with the punches, keep um, doing the best I can. I have to say, like, I don't want. I feel a little bit like defeated right now. I don't. I don't want to say the word defeated, um, but I feel like I'm. I'm just like trying to stay above water right now with everything being so crazy, and it has really affected me with my runs because I feel the the pressure of getting things done. This is this is where my heart is at to to spend time with you guys and share as much as I can about what I've learned because being being at the spot I was, if you've seen my old videos where I just was trying so hard to lose weight and just couldn't figure it out, like that that's where my heart is at because um, I know a lot of you guys have mentioned that you're in that same spot. You keep trying and trying and it's frustrating and, and that's what I, I, I really love doing is, is helping you guys and, and sharing how I get out of those little things. And one of the biggest things is like for me right now, this is a perfect example because I'm so busy. I... I feel like I'm just being pulled everywhere and having my runs in the morning is just keeping me grounded right now, if that makes sense. Like, like, um, just being super tired. And then this morning I was just like, oh my gosh, I'm going to go run my butt off. So this morning I just had such a good run. It just clears my head. It relieves my stress. It just centers me for the day and that's that's where like the gold is in the in the weight loss journeys is having that thing that centers you and and um, lets you clear your thoughts and think clearly and so this morning I ran so hard I ran for um, like 45 minutes I was on there for a total of like a little over 50 minutes I ran the fastest I ever have I stayed at about 4.8 um, if you guys see my past videos I was at 4.5 then at 4.6 and then just this past week about 4.7 and today I was just like at 4.8 and I was just running and and I love listening to like motivational videos things that inspire me while I'm running because it helps me put myself in that mindset of what, what my goals are in life, the things I want to accomplish, the type of person I want to be. And that's where, that's where the gold is in the weight loss journey is, is knowing who you want to be. Forget what everybody tells you that you, that you should be, or what you think other people should think that you should be, if you know what I mean. Um, forget all of that and just like kind of center yourself because when you, it's just so true what they say, when you, when you fix what's on the inside, the outside gets fixed. So we think it's kind of like, it's so easy to feel like, you know, once I get in shape, life will start. Once I get in shape, I'll be happier. Once I get in shape, things will fall in place for me. But you don't work from the outside in. It doesn't work like you, you fix your body and then you feel good about yourself. It's the, it's the other way around. You fix inside first. You I mean, I don't want to say fix because we're, we're never going to be perfect. Um, but, you know, finding yourself, finding what you want in life, finding, you know, what drives you and working towards that, making progress in that direction, that's what really centers us. And once we get that going, then the outside just kind of is a side effect because that's 
that's the biggest thing for me when I first started running back in March that was kind of we'll say where I started now the successful weight loss journey that's kind of where I started it was less about burning calories like I used to kind of like watch the calorie count on the treadmill like way back in the day and say okay I burned 500 calories if I only eat 2,000 or you know just like doing the math it's not even about that the runs when I started was about thinking about my goals thinking about what I want to accomplish a lot in life and then as those as every run it was just adding another brick you know to building the house adding another brick every run and it created who I want to be as a person and, it, and it's always evolving but it it did a lot of work for me internally which losing this weight and continuing to lose weight is just a side effect of working on the inside working on who I want to become um, so that's what I did this morning I was just like you know when as things are so crazy it's easy to feel like you know kind of lost in it and so this morning I was like, uh-uh, I'm not getting lost in it. I am running my butt off. I'm centering myself. I'm thinking about my goals because when life gets so crazy, it's easy to kind of forget, you know, what all you want to accomplish in life. And then days go by and you look back and you're like, okay, what have I been working towards to, to work on myself? Because that's, for me, the most important part. Um, so sorry, didn't mean to get so deep on you guys, but it's really important to work on the inside out. It's something I'm really feeling right now is just remembering that and, and always keeping that the first thing for myself is taking care of myself first internally and it'll flow throughout the rest of my life and, and uh, my friends and family, my relationships, all of that stuff, it, it flows outwards when you really start with inside. So that's the big thing I'm working on is just really holding on to those runs because that's really, that's really is what what is helping me throughout this this past week and staying on track because if I didn't have those runs to center me I probably because you guys know I'm an emotional eater just by nature if when I'm stressed out or I feel like I haven't accomplished anything or it's like okay I need to just eat a bag of chips or eat some cookies or whatever and having that run in the morning is is has replaced what food used to do for me um, and it takes a lot of time and a lot of consistency to get to that spot, but if you keep working at it, it will happen. Um, and then, so one of the questions that I got asked was, which is more important, diet or exercise? And this, for me, this is kind of like a catch-22 question because hands down on paper, if you change your diet, depending, most of us, you know, if you have a good amount of weight to lose, most of us, if you just change your diet, you you won't even have to exercise you'll lose some weight you may only get to a certain point but if you're if you if you do your diet well you will lose weight most of the time um, for the majority of us but I say this is a catch-22 because if you can't actually go through the diet it's not gonna work so exercise for me has been what's conditioned my mind mentally focusing on my goals focusing on what I what I want to accomplish who I want to be as a person how I want to affect other people and so putting all of those things in the right mindset for me is what's allowed me to stick to my diet so that for me it goes hand in hand and that you know that's not going to be for everybody um, some people just diet and don't exercise and lose weight um, their mindset is just maybe require something a little bit different but for me I have to have the runs to, to put me in that mindset where I don't need the food because that's how I am an emotional eater if I get bored if I'm not you know um, keeping myself um, passionate or actively in something I want to eat so keeping my mind in thinking about my goals and stuff has really helped me with my diet. So for me, exercise and diet goes goes hand in hand. I would not be able to follow my diet if it was, wasn't was for my exercise. The exercise is less for me about how many calories I'm burning, which is also a good thing I'm burning calories, but it's more about getting my mindset in a certain place and keeping my mindset there every day. Um, or the five days a week that I that I run. Um, so I hope that answers your question. Um, on paper, diet is gonna do it, but just depending on where you are, exercise helps a lot. And it takes a while to get to where the exercise is something you enjoy and something you need because I remember thinking, like I remember seeing a girl on, at the gym one day and I was like, man, she just looks like she's in the zone, like she's having fun, like this is her spot. And I was just like, I just, 
I was just like, I don't think I'm ever really going to get there. But now I feel like I'm that person. Like I'm in the zone. I'm that I'm in my, my, my place, like my happy place. Um, but that's, that's what the running does for me now. Um, so it, it does take time. I started in March and I would say probably about May, June is when I really started enjoying it and really started loving it. Um, so anyways, hope that answers your question. Thank you guys so much for your love and support. And I will see you guys next time. Mwah, mwah.